we are covering a tutorial a chapter on master detail project and we have covered two lectures on this project so far in the previous lecture we discussed how to get our model classes ready and this is the third lecture for the chapter on master detail project in this chapter we shall get our startup.cs file ready this is the point where we left our previous tutorial we have completed the teacher model and the model for publication both of them we have completed in the previous tutorial today this is our project today we will get our startup.cs file ready we shall edit the startup.cs class the startup class for configuring the support for SQLite and Razor pages so this is our task today let us double click this file to open it this is the startup class that is created by the default visual studio empty template it has two methods configure services and the configure method we will need to make changes to both the methods so let us see what are the changes that we are going to make so that we are able to get this class ready for our project the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to modify the configure services method this method as we have already discussed in the starting initial tutorials that this method is used to add services to the di container these services they can be obtained whenever required this is now this part of the code we let me read it services dot add db context teacher context this part of the code will allow us to add the teacher context will allow us to register the teacher context context as a service to the di container so that we can obtain the teacher context on requirement this will be added as a scoped service this will be added as a scoped service and this service will be available to us on demand for example whenever our razor page is requested this service will be available to us through the constructor then we can make use of that instance of that service to make communication with the database so let me explain this is the connection string for our sqlite file the connection string has been kept simple the name of the file only has been specified the name of the file is teachers.db this is the database file that will be created for us and here in the options we are saying options dot use sqlite this will allow this will configure the sqlite database as our database you will have to add using microsoft dot entity framework core as a using directive or the using statement at the top of this file after this we will also be using razor pages so this line is also required add razor pages this will register all the services needed for running the razor pages in our project next let us come to the configure method this is the second method in the startup class let us see what modifications are required to this method this is the code that you must have already been familiar since the lecture 2 in the database connectivity chapter that we discussed this code let me explain it in brief this statement it will give it will create a scope from this scope we will obtain the services collection and from the services collection we will get our teacher context this teacher context we added just now and now we are obtaining the teacher context and once the teacher context is available we can call the method ensure created this method will create the database if it is not already there if the database is already there this will be an NOP no operation I have written this code this small code at a wrong place this is not the correct or right place for writing this code this code is required just once so it should have been put in a separate class in a separate file that may have been called from an administrative part of the project 
but I had to explain it to you so I have just kept it at this place so that I can explain it to you. After this we will have to add map razor pages as the endpoints. This statement will set razor pages as the endpoint so that our razor pages can handle the incoming requests. So these are the only two changes, these are the only changes one, two, three and probably these are the four changes that you will require to the startup class. You can obtain the source code from me if you are unable to make these changes. Now let us run the project. When you run the project you will see localhost page can't be found. This is right because we have not added any razor pages so far. But the fact that it runs without errors, it tells us that our database our database should have been created by now. So let us verify. When we come to our project solution explorer, our database file teachers.db file, it will automatically be listed in the list of these files. This means our database is created and in our next tutorial, we will go to add the razor pages so that now we can start the completion of the project right from the correct point where the display and the data entry forms will be created. Thank you.